Okay. Um, after our process understanding, uh, we know that the part two and part one share a lot of uh, similarities, right? So here I want to show you how to quickly configure the bot for part two. Um, so first, let's just make a copy of the billing case one that you did. So I'm going to make a copy. Uh, just do copy and then do a paste. Okay, so it's here and uh, let's rename it as billing case two. Okay, now let's go to the folder. Let's first delete the previous work. And let's change the name of the invoice data as invoice data and status. And now open the invoice data status. Go to your right hand side. And then let's add a column named build. Okay. And here you can randomly choose some customers um, and then insert some uh, b uh, billing date. So for example, I choose uh, uh, the first customer billed on August 15th, uh, 14th, 2019. And I just copy and paste that. So I randomly choose three customers um, and uh, these customers were billed on this day so today we're only to bill customer uh, number two three five six okay and then let's save this file all right and now let's go to the main the uh, the bot So since this is a copy of our first bot, as you can see here, when you open the uh, bot, the name is still billing case one. But it's okay, um, because here it's just a copy of that original file. So we just need to make some modifications uh, for, the, uh, for the bot that we have here. So first of all, instead of reading uh, invoice data, we are reading invoice data status and uh, others are the same. Uh, for the sequence of assigned values uh, here, we need to add uh, an extra assign to get the value for the build. So here, let's add, uh, let's first create a new variable called build and then we assign that a variable with the value of row 12 to string because a build is located in column number 13, right? So here we use row 12. And then let's go back. Okay, so here I'll make a copy of this file. It's the same. Um, however, before that, uh, we need to add the if then, right? So let's add an if then activity here. Um, and the decision condition is based on the value of the build, right? So build. Uh, so here, build is a string variable, right? So if there is nothing, uh, the build will be empty. And that means since it's a string, right? An empty string is just a quotation mark. So if build is nothing, then we need to build the customer, right? Then that's where the rest of the activity is coming to play. So you just need to move uh, these activities inside. Okay. So here you see that we have an error message, right? Um, this is because the build, this variable, was created within the scope of the sequence. So it's not applicable to the other sequences. So to fix this, you just need to change the scope of the variable build. 
So first, you need to click on the sequence. Yeah, so it's here, right? So just change that to the body. And then the error should be gone. Okay, uh, here everything is the same. And uh, within the Excel application, that's where we fill in the values. Right, so everything is still the same. So we keep that. Um, so here we completed the task of generating uh, an invoice to the customer who hasn't been billed. And now we need to update the status of the uh, of the invoice data status, right? So uh, here at the end of the sequence, we can use a assign activity. Um, so here we are only updating the build column, right? Which is column number 13, which means uh, it's represented as row 12. So we assign row 12 with, let's say, today's date. So uh, the VB here should be today dot, and then you can see what you can choose here. So uh, I'm going to use a uh, two short date string. Uh, and then this will give you the month, date, and year. Okay, so in this way, um, we, uh, we can update the column of bill uh, within the loop, within the same loop. Okay, so now we can collapse uh, the for each row just to see the big picture. So now we completed the loop, and now it's time to uh, override whatever is in the old invoice data status. So here we are going to use a right range, right range from the workbook automation. And uh, so you can just copy and paste the path from before as well as the sheet name, because here we are going to overwrite, right? So we need to use the same uh, sheet name. And uh, uh, we are using the invoice data as the table. And be very careful that you need to check the add headers. Otherwise, in your file, there won't be any uh, column names. So make sure that you check the add headers. Um, also, we want to save the file as invoice data complete, right? So if you recall, we can use the copy file activity to achieve this objective. So we are going to make a copy of the updated status file and save it as invoice data complete. Okay, and you can check overwrite. So now the bot is complete for part two. If we run the bot, uh, you should see that the bot is generating invoices for customers who haven't been billed. Right, so let's see whether it will work. Great, so as expected, the bot generated the invoices for the four customers who haven't been billed. And if we look at the complete or the status file, we will see that the uh, today's date has been added to the column of billed. And uh, if you want to run the bot again, make sure that you uh, clear the date that you just added. So otherwise, the bot will just stop and say uh, and generate nothing because all the customers have uh, have been built, right? Uh, so if you want to run the bot again, make sure that you delete uh, the dates that you added, and then you can run it. Okay, so this is the end of part two, um, and now it's your turn to configure the bot.